Fierce conflicts began in Russian army, soldiers, some generals do not want to obey the Ministry of Defense. The Russian Ministry of Defense has begun to remove commanders from some of the Russian military's most combat effective units and formations and appears to be accelerating this effort. According to the Institute for the Study of War, citing Russian sources, the Kremlin has in recent days fired a series of top commanders in Ukraine most of whom were leading the defense of Russian positions in occupied Ukraine, specifically in Bakhmut and Zaporizhia. The areas have been the scene of heavy fighting in recent weeks as Ukraine seeks to push Russian forces out. The ISW says that the recent dismissal of the 58th Combined Arms Army General, Colonel General Ivan Popov and the reported dismissal of 106th Guards Airborne Division Commander Major General Vladimir Selivestov prompted further discussions of other alleged recent dismissals and arrests. Russian sources amplified an alleged audio message from personnel of the 7th Guards Mountain Division on July the 15th, in which the personnel claimed that the Russian military command dismissed 7th Division Commander Major General Alexander Konev in early July. Russian sources also claimed that Russian authorities arrested 90th Tank Division Commander Major General Ramil Ibatulin as well as two unspecified deputies on an unspecified date. A prominent Kremlin-affiliated mill blogger suggested that the Russian military command is also planning to dismiss the 31st Airborne Brigade commander, who is reportedly Colonel Sergei Karasev. Russian sources speculated that the Russian Ministry of Defense may be preparing to arrest Airborne Division commander Colonel General Mikhail Teplinsky. These formations and units are conducting defensive and offensive operations in key sectors of the front in Ukraine. The reported dismissal and arrest of commanders leading combat effective units and formations appears to be associated with cases of insubordination. Insubordination among commanders appears to be spreading to some of their soldiers. Russian mill bloggers shared an audio excerpt on July the 16th in which the alleged elements of the 7th Division threatened that they would withdraw from their positions in occupied Kherson Oblast if the Russian Defense Ministry arrests Teplinsky or threatens his life. The elements of the 7th Division also claimed that they would defend Teplinsky against the Russian MOD and asserted that the High Command is targeting Russia's most combat-effective commanders.